Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Danny and I like to make happy little accidents. <laughs> About a month ago, my friends and I went to a Fire Lenses Festival in real life. And in this video, I thought I'd take you along our journey there. Uh, we took a bunch of cool pictures and videos. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys just because it was really cool. I've never been to a Fire Lanterns Festival before and so this was my first time and honestly the first time I even heard about a Fire Lantern Festival was probably from that Disney movie Tangled. When I first saw the movie, I actually thought those lanterns were actually magic or like they were so old that people don't do it anymore. But in this video, as you can see, people still do it and it's real. So I'm hoping that in this video, you guys can see what Fire Lanterns actually look like in real life. And for those of you who are interested in going to your own Fire Lanterns Festival, I hope you guys know what to expect, what not to expect, and just have a good sense of the overall atmosphere and vibe. So when my friends and I got to the festival, we actually got there pretty early in the evening. And so the sun was still high up in the sky and it was still super bright. And so we took out our picnic blanket and just chilled in the park for a bit, waiting for the sky to get dark. I mean, we could totally light our lanterns even when the sun is still up in the sky. I just don't think it's gonna look the same. And so while we wait, we each got one lantern and one pen and we can choose whether or not we want to draw or write anything on the lanterns. One of the things that the event organizer explained to us was that, you know, like what you write or draw on the lantern is totally up to you. Uh, sometimes people write down the name of their past loved ones to remember and honor their memory. Some people write their hopes, wishes, and their dreams on the lantern in hopes that maybe they'll come true. And for the rest of us, we can write down a meaningful quote or just a funny quote or just a funny picture. And it totally depends on what you want to get out of the festival. But anyways, uh, the sun is finally setting and the sky is about to get dark. And one more thing before I show you guys the whole rest of the Fire Lanterns clip, uh, make sure that if you are going to go see your own Fire Lantern Festival that you go to one that takes into account the fire safety and the environmental safety and just the safety of everyone around it. The specific Fire Lantern event that my friends and I went to, there was a lot of fire trucks around and there was just the event organizer did a really good job in making sure that no one is going to get hurt or the environment is not going to get hurt by this event. Basically, just make sure that you're going to a responsible Fire Lanterns event. But anyways, thank you guys for clicking on this video. I'm going to play the rest of the Fire Lanterns clip now and I hope you guys enjoy like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel if you want to stay notified on my latest uploads and comment down below if you have any thoughts questions or if you have a funny comment or you just want to say hi hello and on a note I'll just leave you guys with the lanterns and I hope you guys enjoy
Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay notified on my latest uploads. And comment down below if you have any thoughts, questions, or uh, if you have a funny comment or you just want to say hi. Then I hope you guys enjoy.